All right, my friends, welcome back to War Thunder Ground Forces with the Angry Nerd. And today, I thought we would take a look at the American T-32 Heavy Tank. In World War II, the U.S. Army saw success with the M4A3 E2 Up Armored Sherman Tank, which was deployed to Europe in 1944. The M26 Pershing was intended to be the replacement for the M4 Sherman, and despite a promising performance during the final stages of World War II, the M26 was thought to be too lightly armored to do battle with most German heavy tanks and tank destroyers, such as the Tiger II. Even though its own gun was able to penetrate the enemy armor satisfactorily, its own armor was believed to be insufficient at stopping enemy shells. That being the belief, on December 7, 1944, the Army Ground Forces requested that a new heavy tank project be created by the Ordnance Department to create a version of the M26 Persian with heavier armor. Work began in early 1945 to develop a significantly heavier variant of the M26 Pershing. Two projects resulted from this. The first was simply an M26 with heavier armor, designated as the heavy tank T26E5, later redesignated as a medium tank. The second project was a new tank that used as many components of the M26 Pershing as possible. In February 1945, OCM 26606 called for the construction of four prototypes for the second project, which was to be designated Heavy Tank T32. Approval of the project was granted two months later in March 1945. A mock-up of the T-32 was nearly ready by 10 April 1945, with 80% of the blueprints released by that point. Using data collected from the T-29 heavy tank project, the first T-32 tank Pilot 1 was completed on 15 January 1946, and Pilot 2 was completed on 19 April 1946. Immediately after completion, they were shipped to Aberdeen Proving Ground for testing. Pilot 3 was completed on 14 May 1946, and Pilot 4 was completed on the 19th of June 1946. Pilot 3 was sent to Fort Knox for testing, while Pilot 4 was kept at the Detroit Arsenal. The third and fourth pilots were designated as Heavy Tank T-32E1 on August 9, 1946. The T-32, Pilot 1 and Pilot 2. The crew complement of the T-32 was five, a driver, an assistant driver machine gunner in the hull, and the gunner, commander, and loader in the turret. The hull was based on that of the M26 Pershing, but was elongated and featured armor changes, along with a new power plant and redesigned engine compartment. A 770 horsepower Ford GAC V12 engine and an EX120 cross drive transmission with two Ford and one reverse speed made up the power plant. A similar power plant to that used on the heavy tank T-29. The T-32 weighed approximately 120,000 pounds, combat ready, and could attain a speed of 22 miles per hour. The maximum range on road was about 100 miles. The hull was similar to the Persian, except it was elongated with a seventh road wheel added to each side compared to only six on the M26. The torsion bar suspension was retained. The tracks were the same 23-inch tracks as used on the Pershing, 
but they were fitted with five inch extended end connectors to reduce ground pressure. The armor was thickened to five inches, 127 millimeters at 54 degrees on the upper glacis and 95 millimeters at 59 degrees on the lower glacis. The front armor was of cast construction. The side and rear armor was largely the same as the Pershing, three inches or 76.2 millimeters on the sides and two inches, 50.8 millimeters on the rear. There was a 30 caliber 7.62 millimeter machine gun and a ball mount on the right side of the upper glacis for use by the assistant driver machine gunner. Two hinged hatches were provided for both the driver and assistant driver located overhead with a single periscope in each hatch. A new turret was fitted that was different from that of the M26, but still used components from the Pershing. Armor ranged from 6 inches, 152.4 millimeters on the rear and sides to 11 and 3 quarter inches, 298.45 millimeters on the front. The main armament consisted of an experimental 90 millimeter T15 E2 high velocity gun, which used two piece ammunition, which was also used on variants of the T29. The gun could elevate 20 degrees and depress 10 degrees. A 30 caliber 7.62 millimeter machine gun was fitted coaxial to the main gun and there was also two mounting points for 50 caliber 12.7 millimeter M2 heavy barrel machine guns, one on the rear of the turret roof and one in front of the commander's cupola. The ammunition load consisted of 54 90 millimeter rounds, 4,000 30 caliber rounds, and 550 rounds of 50 caliber ammunition. A radio was installed in the turret bustle. The third and fourth pilots were redesignated as T-32E1s shortly after construction. They had a number of differences from the first two pilot vehicles. The biggest difference was in rolled rather than cast construction of the front hull armor, which also saw the removal of the bow ball machine gun. The periscopes for the driver and assistant driver machine gunner were relocated from the hatches to the roof armor directly in front of the hatches. And the hatches themselves were also changed from a hinged type to a pivoting design to prevent them from getting in the way of turret rotation when open. Otherwise, the T-32E1 was identical to the T-32. Production totaled two T-32s and two T-32E1s. The T-32s never entered production or service because they arrived after the war had ended, so there was no longer any need for them. After the war, the project was canceled and the vehicles were scrapped. Now in War Thunder Arcade, the T-32 heavy tank is located in the American Tank Troop. It is a rank 5 heavy tank with a battle rating of 7.3. It has a 1,224 horsepower engine propelling the 54 ton vehicle to a top speed of 23.2 miles per hour. Its main armament is a 90 millimeter T-15 E2 cannon with a maximum ammo load of 54 rounds. Its secondary armament consists of a coaxial mounted 7.62 30 caliber machine gun and a commander's cupola mounted 12.7 millimeter 50 caliber machine gun. It also has a ball mounted 7.62 millimeter 30 caliber machine gun on the right side of the upper glacis that doesn't work in War Thunder. Now I have it assigned to an expert crew with a crew level of 150, which gives me a reload of 
0.4 seconds. So what do I think of the Heavy Tank T32 here in War Thunder Arcade? Well, to tell you the truth, it's almost like playing two different vehicles. One, when you're top tier and you're pretty good. And two, when you're bottom tier and you're crap. So when you're top tier, uh, your armor is pretty effective and you can move around and engage mostly at will as long as you don't make any really stupid mistakes and show your flank and stuff like that. But when you're bottom tier and you're facing these newer vehicles with heat FS and newer rounds, um, you better find a hold, hold down position because uh, they can slice through your armor like a hot knife through butter. That being said, why don't we hop into a game and see what I was able to do with the heavy tank, T32. Here we go. All right. I don't even know how to pronounce the name of this map. Cervic? Anyway, that's where we are. And we're in the northeastern spawn point. So, yeah, this map I usually like to go over to the western side, but there's no cap point over in that area. So, I'm still gonna go west. I'm just not gonna go that far over. Still want to try to get the enemy in some flanking shots. We're gonna come over and try to go around. Not all the way west of the buildings, but to those two parallel roads um, running kind of north-south and the five line operates somewhere around the five line. This plan is in flux based on enemy activity because I myself don't want to be flanked. So we will try to improvise, adapt, and overcome based on intelligence that we see on the mini-map. We're chugging along here about 23 miles per hour. So we're not making great time, but it's not the slowest vehicle I've driven lately. Well, we do have somebody, two people, operating on those two parallel roads. Let's see if we can surprise them. Let's see. Dang it! Okay. 41. people I've killed over here and I'm pretty sure at least one of them are gonna come back this way. I know I would. So we're gonna reposition in advance. 
their counter assault. Because if you think that somebody's going to come back after you, you don't want to be in the same spot. At least, that's my opinion. We got somebody down here around this roundabout. Second, 15 and some change reload. Waffen trigger. Oh man, I can't believe that that did not take him out. AMX. And I don't have a shot. The Waffen trigger. another British tank. This is a French tank and so I've already killed two French tanks so just guessing. Wasn't really paying attention to the names but I killed a French tank and I killed a second French tank and now this French tank is trying to flank me so it might be the same guy. I'm not sure. Here's we going for a long way around. All right, let's see. Where did he get to? See him. All right, well, that's worrying me a little bit. Oh, he's heading back the other way. Got his gunner. That'll keep him busy. And this guy is right around the end of the building here. I think that's still the French AMX over here. So we'll see if we can get rid of him while that Poppin' Traeger is getting another crew member. Yes, we can. Waffen Traeger appears to be on the move. Over 
here coming down the side of this building. There he is right there. Just angle a little bit. Got him. There's an anti-aircraft gun over here somewhere. Oh, I think he's on the other side of that building to my right. But there are a few guys in the middle. Second reload is a long time. Are you moving? Should have been able to get him, but I was just too nervous. We're gonna come around. Might have missed out on the last kill. Can't get the purple win. Okay, not bad. We'll take that. Ten. I'll take that all day. Let's take a quick look at these awards. Avenger, Shadow Strike Streak, Without a Miss, Tank Rescuer, Professional, Survivor, Heavy Metal Fury. Player Statistics third place in the team so yeah without a premium 10 kills 94% battle activity that'll do all right we picked up Sun City I haven't had this map very often I think this might be like my fourth time having this map I haven't figured out all the good spots yet 
but I think I'm probably going to take the western spawn point. Southwestern spawn point. What I'm looking for is likely avenues of approach to the cap point and something that has um, long shot lines with cover. So there's a road, looks like, running to the west, or is that the, you know what, it might be a road and the map grid line, one on top of the other, but right around the corner of this building looks possibly like a long road. Something. Okay. So don't want to like give advance notice that I'm here. Oh, we're getting flanked. Getting flanked. We're gonna move around to the west. See if we can help with this. This is not good. One friendly vehicle over here. There we go. All right. I wanted to get some damage on one vehicle before he got away. Waiting on this reload. Okay, there's one down. E1. Getting smacked by his little brother. Pull over. We'll get ready to take out this air battle. We got three bombs. Let's see. Couple of groupings of people right here. Just try to get all of them right there and go get back in the tank. There's a target destroyed. Looks like we got the flank that was coming from the west secure, so we move back over here to the original position. Lots of guys here though. Another T32E1 over there. And looks like a group of 
guys coming back down this western flank again. So we'll come back over here. Saw one for a second. face all of them, all three of them at the same time. So we are going to extend our flanking maneuver a little further west. Oh! Dang! I thought that would have killed him. Machine guns! Alright. He is lightly armored, so I'm lucky that it was a lightly armored vehicle, or it could have turned out bad for me. What we got here, M47 and an IS-6. Oh man, it took my track out. M47 was trying to back up and get a shot. Somebody took out the IS-6, so that works. flanking maneuver a little farther west. I saw a vehicle in the 2C, in the grid quadrant. in regular so here we are here we go T-34 right to the back of the turret according to the mini map we got somebody Let's go this way. Somebody just killed. M an M46 just killed a friendly M50. We seem to have pull pushed, you know, a grid square or so down into their territory. Not quite yet. Oh, wait, somebody else should be right over here. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay, any aircraft vehicle? Maybe the other side of this building. Ooh. Up the tank to hit the any aircraft vehicle and take that tank out first. It's much more dangerous than the AA vehicle. Which we got. Alright. I think we have entered the Opera House.
pretty sure that's it. Alright. Let's take a look at these awards. Teamwork. Adamant. Tank Rescuer. Avenger. Professional. Shadow Strike Streak. Without a Miss. Final Blow. Survivor. And Heavy Metal Fury. First place in the team. This is my haul without a premium. 10 targets destroyed. 93% battle activity. The best caller done. There you have it. The Heavy Tank T32. If you've liked this look at the T32, hit that like button. If you didn't, don't. Subscribe if you would. But as always, thanks for watching. And now, please take a look at these ending credits so you can see the people who make this channel possible. Thank you so much. Nerd out.